In this video, you will find out what's the best time to make money in Forex market so that you can religiously sit in front of your chart at that time and make a million dollars. So stay tuned because my answer might surprise you. Welcome back YouTube. So lately I've been getting a lot of questions, kind of sort of like this. Hey man, what's the best time to trade? Uh, what do you mean by that? Uh, well, when do I need to sit in front of my charts to make a, to, to make the most out of it? So is it the London session? Is it maybe the beginning of the New York session? Or maybe it's the Asia session? Or do I need to sit in front of my charts when you know the London session overlaps with the New York session because the market moves the best at that time? Or maybe that's the Asia session? Or maybe pound dollar works the best in the Asia session? And all of the, those sort of questions were landing into my inboxes all over my social media. So I decided to record this video once for all to you know to let everybody know what's the best time so you so that you guys can make the most out of it and i'm sure that my answer will surprise you because nobody is expecting this so i know that you might be thinking ah man again with your spreadsheets and all of that stuff that you see here on the screen i don't want to go through this bullshit i just want to you know sit in, fr in front of my charts click buy click sell buttons and make ton of money well that's not going to happen that I can bet with you that, that that's not going to happen if you don't put in the work. And the reason why I have my spreadsheets here, because that those spreadsheets gives you the answer and I'm going to show it to you. So I brought two, I br brought up two uh, spreadsheets. One is the pound dollar bat. So it's the spreadsheet which I use to backtest the bat patterns on the pound dollar. So I backtest the uh, 101 bat on pound dollar from what is it uh 2013 all the way to 28th of august 2018 just to receive the result of over that period of time if i were to take all of these bat bats i would make only 231 pips which means like what 40 pips per year roughly 40 pips per year obviously that doesn't make me happy because that's probably the return of maybe half of a percent on my investment and uh, it those results are not good but how can you combine these results with the questions that i've been being asked lately so let's go to the backtesting tune-up sheet and let's check it out what i have here so this sheet here shows you the the breakdown of all of the trades with the sum of uh, target one closed pips and target two closed pips and a total of closed pips. So if I hit both, if I hit stop loss, it will show negative. If I hit uh, target one and target two, it will show positive. <coughs> so that brings up. So this number here, sum of total closed pips, is the same number as this number right there. Okay. And now this time zone that I put in here is GMT time zone okay and now when people are being asking me what is the best time to trade that question is too broad nobody can answer this if, if somebody can give you an answer and say that, that that's the when the market moves the best etc that person didn't do a lot of backtesting because some strategies work at some times better and at the different times they don't work as good as they work in the first time and the bad pattern is the example of that kind of a strategy it's particularly bad pattern on pound dollar and i'm just saying this because of i tested it the and the way i tested it that's proven correct i don't know how everybody else are doing in trading bads but the way that i tested them and the bads that that i identified the this will be a great example for the best time to trade so my system uh, says that i can trade trade this is the time by the way that i can take trades from 6 in the morning gmt time until 5 pm so i'm just gonna select this time per period okay so remember 231 pips across the board on five years so i'm just gonna select now six in the morning all the way to 5 p.m. There we go. Boom. We doubled it. 
we literally doubled the amount of pips if we trade bad only in a time period that my system allows me to do. So how, yeah, so now you can say, yeah, man, but you know, some people can trade this bad in a different time zone. Well, okay, let's check out the different time zone. Let's check out from 17 o'clock until 20, 23 or zero, whatever. negative 100 pips you see this that's why i said this is a great example because when i'm awake and when i'm trading some people might be sleeping right because a difference of a time zone and bad patterns and pound dollar might be profitable for me but when they wake up and i'm going to sleep then they're hitting actually bad uh, very bad pound dollar bets because it's just not working at that time so the best time to trade bad pattern on pound dollar the way i tested it would be from uh, six in the morning until 5 pm you cannot ask what's the best time to trade like in like a general question because the best time to trade what strategy on what time frame on what pair that would be something and how did you test it how did you back test it? What are the rules for that strategy? That might be a question that you can get an answer to, but unless you ask all of those specific things, nobody can answer because I'm not saying here that bad pattern on pound dollar on in the time period that I showed to you is not working on a five minute a chart. It might, I don't know. I didn't back test it. You got to go through the charts and manually write down all of the data and then filter throughout this kind of a spreadsheet to know the information so that you know what you need to remove from your trading and what you need to keep in your system. Now, I didn't uh, just bring up a one Excel spreadsheet. I brought out brought up another one, which is a cipher pattern on euro dollar. So I want to show you that example as well. Let's bring up the cipher. Here we go. So just recently, I wrapped up the backtesting on Cypher uh, for your dollar and starting uh, what uh, this upcoming week, which is currently the last week of February, I'm going to add this to my system. And over 126 trades, the Cypher pattern on euro dollar looks very bad for me. Just makes me around on average one pip per trade. So it's very, very bad with a win rate of 54%. It started great, although you see this here, it started very, very good. And then we ran into some kind of a, uh, where then we ran into, uh, I, I think this is, is filtered already. Just give me a sec. Give me a second. Yeah, I think this is filtered because this is not 100. Yeah. Um, okay, anyway, but it shows that I made on average one pip per trade, which is not that good. Okay. But if you go here on a backtesting tune up sheet and then again select the time period that I'm trading, let's see here. Six in the morning until 5 p.m. Boom, 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 boom. Shows that we improved a little bit. But here, this tune-up sheet gives you the opportunity to actually tune it up, tune up your system, add the filters. So for example, in my system, I can trade two time periods. One is uh, from six in the morning until 5 p.m. And I trade all pairs on this, on this time period. And if uh, a pair performs very bad, I will be removing the pair. However, the pound yen, bad pattern, I can only trade until uh, from 6 in the morning until 1 p.m. So I said, okay, let's try and see, will this work better if I remove this? And it did. It did work better. So now I can trade, I can make 400 pips if I trade it only until, oh, sorry. Sorry, 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 I didn't remove all. I can actually make almost 600 pips if I only trade it until 1 p.m. GMT time zone. 
So I said, okay, those are decent results. I'm going to put it in my system, but for a better filtration, I think I can add some more filters. This is only a time filter. So I'm saying the Euro dollar cipher on hour one will work for me only if I trade it from six in the morning GMT time zone until 1 PM GMT time zone. That's it. It's not going to work for me otherwise, because if I start trading it from 2 p.m. Uh, to, I don't know, to, for a person who lives in New York, if he tested the uh, euro dollar cipher the same way I did and he's six hours behind me or, or something like that, like that. So he's waking up a little bit later. He's trading this kind of time period, right? He's going to make negative 160 pips across five, six years. So this strategy would obviously be very good for that trader. However, as I'm living in Europe on a GMT time zone, I can successfully trade it and make a lot of money. Uh, so then what you can actually do a little bit more filtering here. Let's set up my trading time. There we go. So I want to see, do I need to get some kind of a, uh, overbought over soul conditions sorted out here let, let me just see do the yeah. so do i need so i can make 564 pips if i'm trading it from 6 in the morning until 1 p.m okay so right now i can let's see this can i filter a little bit more no this reduces the the pip wise the pip number pip amount this reduces is as well as well so that's it I can trade this from 6 in the morning until 1 p.m. And I don't need to add any more filters to it. That's it. That's how I'm going to trade euro dollar ciphers. And with that being said, I hope this gives you an ultimate answer to your question. What's the best time to trade? Because it does depend on a strategy and not just on a strategy. It depends on a time frame, on a, a pair, on, on everything because the bad pattern on our one it will not be the as profitable or more or less profitable than the uh, bad pattern on m15 and if you mix it with the different pairs you get different results so you need to be specific when you're asking and the, the strategy needs to be the same the people need to see the same things and that's when you can get a normal question so no, to conclude, there is no single best time to trade Forex. Uh, all sort of strategies works on all sort of time, time combinations, and you can make the money in any, at any given time. If you, stay, if you stick to your rules, if you stick to your uh, trading plan. With that being said, all, uh, before you leave this video and we are about to end, wrap it up, click that like button, click that subscribe button, Make sure to smash that bell button and thank you very much for staying until the end of this video. Speak to you soon. Bye-bye.